This is the Not Broken Bar Extender and today I'm going to show you how to fit it to your bike. Um, the idea behind the bar extender is to allow you to overlap both brakes on one side so you can control front and rear brakes independently. You've got your bar extender, um, you've got a cool little widget which will help you fit it with one hand um, and you're also going to need a 6mm Allen key and a 2.5mm Allen key. As you can see here I've got both my levers on one side already, I've got my gears as well and my dropper. It's a very busy setup. First thing I'm going to do is remove my front brake lever. We've taken a clamp off the front brake so my setup you see is pretty cluttered so what I'm going to do I'm just going to undo my dropper post lever just so it's a little bit looser so I can wiggle it out of the way and then hopefully give me enough space to take it off. So yeah, this is free. So what I would say is if you've got a brake which is dangling, just be careful that you don't damage your hose when you put it to one side. The bar extender will come assembled. Um, what you'll need to do to start with is take the two bolts out to remove the top clamp. Um, just get them out of the way for the time being. We make products for one-handed use, but we also design our products so they can be fitted with one hand as well. Um, that's really important to us, especially as I've only got one hand. Okay, so we're going to take our little helping uh, widget, just put it on the bar, clip it on facing this way. You've got a little peg coming off it. Um, the idea is that that peg will go inside this part of your clamp. So what I find helps for you is if you angle your clamp slightly, and then you can just push it on like so. It's pretty simple. It can it can be a bit fiddly. But as you can see, that's been held in place now so we can easily put the top clamp on with one hand. Now it's all in place, I recommend putting the two bolts in the clamp and just resting it on top. Um, you can just find the first bit of thread, pretty easy, just do it by hand. Um, and then do the same on the other side. You know, if you've got stuff in the way, just move it out of the way to easily access the bolts. And now that's caught on there, you're actually good to remove the one-handed helping bit. Just pop it out and it's on and you can continue the procedure. Right, so now the bar extender is in place, you can easily access the bolts on top with your 2.5mm Allen key. Um, which I just recommend pinching them up for the time being. Got your bar extender in place, bolts done up, it's all good. Take your second lever, it could be your front or your back. Um, this is my front brake I'm putting on the bottom. Um, just slide it into place for the time being. This bar extender can be used on either the left or right side of a bar, and it doesn't matter which way you put your brakes around, it's a personal preference. I run my top brake as my rear brake and my bottom one as my front brake. So the bar extender has got three axes of adjustment, left and right, front and back and up and down. To adjust the up and down position of the bottom bar and your lever, you'll need a 6mm Allen key. Move the bracket this way to get it nice and close so you're not reaching as far. Um, we've also got another little bit of adjustment where we can tilt the lever up a little bit better just to get it really nice and close. But what I try and tend to do is get it set up so your top lever when pulling it, your finger doesn't touch the other one because you don't want to accidentally pull the front brake so you can actually use both brakes independently. The back extender is now on, you've got both your brakes <coughs> in the correct position. Got my dropper post in, I'm just going to do this up quickly. Basically just go over everything, make sure it's all pinched up as it should be, make sure nothing's moving. Um, and yeah, everything's tight, you know, you've added a few different bolts here, so just make sure we're all tight as well. And then the idea is, you can easily access both brakes, you've got a much nicer position on your second lever. Um, and yeah, just go out and enjoy riding your bike with one hand.